This is the GoPro Max, and as a filmmaker, this is my first ever time playing around with 360 cameras. The GoPro Max was launched in 2019, making it four years old, so I really wanted to see how it stands up after four years, and also see how it compares to its direct competition, the Insta360. For the past few years, we've all been seeing, or at least me, I've been seeing loads of YouTube videos in regards to GoPro and how the company is going on a straight decline and how everyone is moving to Insta360 or DJI cameras in regards to action cameras, of course, because GoPro has kind of been leading the industry ever since. And to be honest, I've been quite disappointed with the GoPro because <laughs> I started out filmmaking when I was like 11 years old with a GoPro Hero 2. And uh, ever since I've had the GoPro Hero 2, the Hero 3, the Hero 4, Four, Hero 5 and quite frankly I've kind of given up on GoPro because obviously you see the commercial right and you see how good the colors look but then you actually get it and it's a different thing but this all changed when I got this camera obviously the GoPro Hero Max uh, hasn't had an update for three years now I think it was released in 2020 so this camera is three years old and when I picked it up I was very shocked with the results so this all came to be about a month ago we went on a really cool helicopter trip from here from Mallorca to Barcelona. We got to spend the weekend there, it was awesome. And while we were on our way there, one of my good friends, he just bought his GoPro Hero Max. And obviously being the camera geek that I am, I asked him if I could use the camera and get to see the kind of results I could get with it, play around a little bit with it on my way back. And while I was recording, I couldn't stop thinking about not that long ago, how 360 cameras used to be. I don't know if you remember, I'll put a picture up, but I remember, I think it was like four or five years ago, you had to buy this accessory, which was like a cube, and you had to stick one, two, three, four GoPros in. And blending all images, you would get a 360 image. Of course, the stitching was horrible between one camera and the other, and the editing software was just horrible to use. I never even got into it. So it just blew my mind now with just pressing one button, how it just blends both cameras together so well. The stitching is really good. It's got six microphones, I believe, although I only see one, two, three. I only see three microphones, but apparently it's got six of them internally. It's also got a 5.6K image resolution. So one really good advantage I've not really seen anyone else talk about with the GoPro Max is obviously now with social media, all the videos are going in vertical, right? So you either have to film vertical or horizontal but you can't be filming in both at the same time. That's not the case with the GoPro Max. Because it's got 5.6K image resolution, you can crop it to nine by 16 or 16 by nine, whatever aspect ratio you prefer. So yeah, long story short, when we got back from that trip from Barcelona, I said, yes, I'm getting one of them 100%. I've had it for about a month and I absolutely love it. I would recommend it for anyone that's going to get into vlogging or it's going to do any travel videos or even once behind the scenes videos. I've been using it recently for that kind of thing. I just obviously with this tripod, I just stick it in a corner and I'm able to get loads of behind the scenes with one camera. Another great thing I love about this camera is the GoPro app. You stick all these videos into the GoPro app in your phone and you can use this thing called over capture where you can literally just turn your phone as if you were filming in real life and capture all the keyframes. You don't have to do any work, just move your phone around. The only real thing I don't really like about this camera, which I imagine uh, there must be a way around it, is say for example you want to, you're in a rush and you want to film a video really quickly. Well usually with GoPro cameras you press the top button, it powers on automatically and it starts recording. Well with this camera you've got the hero mode and the hero mode just uses one of the lenses. If you press this, it's gonna start recording, but it's just gonna get the hero mode video. So you're just gonna get one angle. You're not gonna get the 360. Apart from that, I really like this camera. I think the sound, I think the sound quality is very good with these built-in microphones. I think the 5.6K image resolution looks awesome. Um, obviously the distortion is really big, but it's to be expected with GoPro cameras. And yeah, that's pretty much it. By the way, one last thing I really wanted to mention before I end this video that has nothing to do with GoPro Max is for anyone that loves editing or filming videos and wants to learn more about it and is kind of lost with all this information out there on YouTube, I've put together a mini course going over my workflow on how to shoot and edit videos and plan videos with your iPhone specifically for social media. 
So if you're interested in this kind of thing on filming videos with your iPhone, I've put a link down below that will take you to this course. Before you get there, you'll get access to a free package of color grading presets, which these will help to change the quality on your videos. They'll change the colors, they'll change the lighting, they'll change the contrast completely for free. So check them out and I'll see you guys in the next one.